These are the tools we use to propagate SPS corals. You will notice a two ounce bottle of reef glue, scissors, and several types of pliers and tweezers. The blue container in the upper corner contains the original colony. We have three bowls of fresh reef water and we utilize these to mount the corals and to cure the plugs. If we have any damaged frags, we seal the damage with reef glue. We use reef glue to seal any damaged tissue on the original colony. We do not seal where we made the new breaks on the colony. Where there are healthy breaks, the coral will grow back much faster and it will often produce two or three axial coralites, which are the growing ends. Propagating broodstock from farm Vanuatu Acapora. I will show you how we use this method to produce new fragments for broodstock using an ocean farmed coral. This fragment will be removed from the block of cement. Using a pair of diagonal cutters, I am able to remove the fragment. We hold the coral within cutters so we can break the fragments. By holding the base solid, we are able to get good clean breaks on the small fragments. Oops. I knew that okay. After I've removed enough fragments, I am able to remount the original colony on the small block of cement that it came on. You can note that in the ocean farming, they've used a hot glue gun to mount the fragments. That's why it was so easy to break it loose. The base will grow new frags after it is glued to the cement rock. I will show you how fast cuttings can be made using this method. I hope you have enjoyed this short video about SPS corals. This method is the most productive one we use on SPS.